Home Health and Hospice, um, our division takes care of patients wherever they live. And so, um, you know, some of our patients lives in homes, nursing homes, assisted living facility. On the home health side, we're trying to get patients back to their baseline. So a lot of our patients maybe just had surgery and are trying to get rehabbed and, or maybe they had an infection and are at home with IV antibiotics. Um, so they have a skilled need and we're working together as an interdisciplinary team to get them back to baseline. Um, on the hospice side, we're working with patients and their families. And our goal is to really help them through end of life and to make sure that they're comfortable. And um, not only are we taking care of their physical symptoms, but we're working on um, psychosocial, spiritual. Um, we look at the patient as a, as a whole. And so um, it takes a whole group of, of team members to be able to provide that kind of care. I trust them so much to be my eyes and ears and to help assess what's going on. We work together very closely, the nurses and I and, and other members of the interdisciplinary team to help communicate about our patients on an ongoing basis. I grew up in the community and so I get to take care of the people that I grew up with and looked up to my entire life. Another part of why I just absolutely love my job is I get to use those critical thinking skills that other areas of nursing don't. I get to think on the spot. There's a level of autonomy that we get to practice on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, safety is our number one um, important factor that we really monitor for our, our caregivers and so truly patients and families are, are, are very accepting of, of having somebody come in and, and they're very thankful for the care that we provide and it's just a great opportunity to really build relationships with um, patients and families in our communities. One of the reasons that I love my job so much in home health is the relationships that I get to build with new people all the time. And it's different than acute care. In acute care, you take the time to make sure that you're figuring out what your patient needs in that moment. Home care and hospice at home are different in that you are really in the patient's environment and figure out what it is that they need from many different aspects. It's not just the physical aspect of the person, it's also the physical aspect of their environment, emotional, mental aspects, and how you can help to meet the patient's needs within the community. We're really flexible with schedules. Uh, our caregivers um, put input and, and provide self-scheduling for themselves. Um, we really work hard at trying to promote a really good life-work balance. And, and I think that is a positive about home health, being able to make sure that I can go do those things that are really important to, to me. I love being on the move and my job allows me to do that. We get to go into patients' homes and it's a different one each time and our travel time allows us to decompress in between visits and take in the beautiful Black Hills. Home care is probably one of the most rewarding places that you can, that you can function in as a nurse mostly because you get to spend that time with the family in the home setting. It's almost like you become a part of their family as well. Uh, the appreciation that you get um, for uh, the efforts that you put out going into the home, trying to make their lives better, trying to improve uh, how they live and, and their health uh, is a huge reward. There's probably no more rewarding area that I can think of in the hospital and in the healthcare setting.